Every year, hundreds of thousands of babies in the U.S. are born with some sort of ear deformity. It may not seem like a big deal, but the condition can make them targets of bullies and hurt their self-esteem. In today's HealthCast, medical specialist Christy Kruger looks at an easy solution that doesn't involve surgery. Little artist Chloe Kammerlink is an active and adorable two-year-old. But when she was first born, her mom noticed something a little off. Her ear was kind of sticking out a little bit, and also it was a bit folded at times and, and sticking out a little and misshaped. And it's actually much more common than people, people think. I mean, more than 15% of babies, of newborns, have some sort of ear deformity. Yeah. Sam Soloway is one of those babies, but instead of waiting years to undergo plastic surgery, Sam was wearing a special ear mold to contour his tiny ear into a more natural shape. I mean, you want to give your kid every advantage possible. So, you know, I don't, I didn't want to have him come to me like, you know, at 12 years old in school and be like, you know, my kids are making fun of my ear and feel insecure about it. Hello, Sam. Dr. Jeremy White says the younger the better when it comes to these ear molds working. When babies are first born, they still have estrogen circulating in their bloodstream. And this helps to keep the cartilage soft. And because of that, we're able to actually put pressure to the ear and reshape it, recreate those reliefs and folds within the ear. Dr. White says the molds can't change the size of the ear, just the shape. The molds are not painful and are switched out about every two weeks. Ah, Chloe wore the molds for less than two months, but her mom saw changes right away. I had tears in my eyes. I started crying because I was so happy. It worked after just like 10 days. I love cute baby stories, don't you? Well, the molds won't work once the ear cartilage actually hardens up, so babies in their first few weeks have the very best results. Surgery is the next option when a child gets to be about 12 to 14 years old, and insurance does usually cover the cost of these molds. With your HealthCast today, I'm Christy Kruger.